Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the three biggest rookie mistakes newbie writers make when they go on to medium. I see these mistakes happen over and over and over and over again. I see them coming before you're about to make them. Or I know that you've already made them and I can help you fix them. So we're gonna talk about three rookie mistakes most beginners make. But before we get to that, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm rededicating myself to YouTube. I'm gonna be shooting in multiple videos per week. So if you want to see those new videos that are gonna help you make money writing, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get brand new videos when they come out. Make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed it so more people can find it. Leave your two cents in the comments below and I'll use your ideas and comments to make new videos. Okay, so the first mistake people make about, or the first, excuse me, the first mistake newbie writers make when it comes to medium is they come up with assumptions without having enough data to make those assumptions, right? So here's what happened. Like a lot, a lot of your stories might end up like mine. I actually first came on to medium in 2015. And what I did was what a lot of beginner writers do. I posted a couple blog posts on medium. Uh, I didn't get much views at all. So I said, I figured, hey, this is maybe this just isn't really a good platform. And I just went back to doing other stuff, right? But a lot or so a lot of new beginning writers on Medium, you'll go to Medium, you'll do a couple posts, you're not getting the views you want, you're pretty much not making any money. So you make all these assumptions about how Medium works. You make assumptions about whether or not Medium works for you. Over the years, so many people, it's it's crazy. I continue to make money. I have students in my programs who are making money three, four, five figures a month, single blog posts, monthly views. Like I have people, new students in my programs making hundreds of dollars per post. Yet people have all these assumptions about Medium who have no experience on it. They'll say things like, oh, Medium is dead. When in fact, it's very, very the opposite of that. It's actually growing right now. They'll have all these assumptions about what you have to do to be successful on Medium, they'll say, oh, you only have to write about, you can only write about writing, you can only write about making money, you can only write about self-improvement, and those are the only three ways to make money writing. I have students who've made um, thousands of dollars writing articles about eating bananas. I had a student make $300 about a blog post that talks about ejaculation control. I just had another student write a viral article with 50,000 views um, related to dating. So this myth, this idea that you have to write about self-improvement or just teach people how to make money and write clickbait pieces to succeed on Medium is total nonsense garbage in beginners who don't have enough experience, who haven't published enough posts, who haven't published enough posts in the right places, and who haven't published enough posts in the right way have all these assumptions about Medium, right? So I've talked about this before. I can't tell you how many interactions I've had with beginner beginner writers who they're wet behind the ears on Medium. And then I try to tell them something that I've learned based off of experience since being on Medium in, since 2015, having 90,000 followers, making more than 350 grand directly from Medium. I should be somebody you would wanna listen to, right? But I'll tell beginners what to do and they'll look at me, they'll look at me like I'm crazy, right? So if you wanna be successful, suspend your judgments about Medium and actually give yourself enough time, publish enough. You should be publishing two to four posts per week. Ideally, you should be doing that for 30 to 90 days. And you should be gradually escalating the publications you submit yourself to in those 30 to 90 days. And then if you write about stuff people actually wanna read, learn how to do things like structure your headlines, write blog posts in a fashion that's easy to read that people wanna read, and do some of the techniques that I teach in both my free and my paid programs, then you'd have real data. Then you'd actually be able to make an informed decision about whether or not Medium works for you. But most newbies, they either don't write enough or they do write a lot, but they do it in such a way that it's not Medium's fault that they're not successful, it's theirs. Which leads me to rookie mistake number two that a lot of Medium writers make. It's taking advice from people who don't know what they're talking about, right? So a lot of people who, especially a lot of newbies, they're in these, they're in these Facebook writing groups, right? And I'm not poo-pooing on the groups themselves, but you have to be very careful to avoid the blind leading the blind syndrome, right? So it's important to collaborate and network with other writers. I do it. I networked with a ton of different writers on Medium and 
over the years, we've been able to help each other get better. So I'm not saying you shouldn't learn from your peers. You have a ton to learn from your peers. But often, these Facebook groups are, again, you're, they're filled with people who have these false assumptions by Medium, and then you're learning from other people who have false assumptions about Medium, and you're learning from people who don't have experience, and instead, you should just listen to people that have the results that you want already, right? So I'm not saying you have to specifically listen to me. There are several other experienced creators on Medium who talk about what it takes to be successful, right? So our philosophies are a little bit different, but you know, you could you could pick pieces of information from all of us and figure out what to do to be uh, become a better writer, get more people to read your stuff, be successful on Medium, make money, and then eventually the goal is to build a full-time writing business, right? Why not just listen to people who already have who who've already done what you've done before, right? Why not just invest in yourself and learn from someone who's come before you, right? So I have paid programs where I teach people how to make money on Medium and build an audience. I routinely, over and over and over again, I have people who make their investments back quickly, then they're off to the races, becoming household names on Medium, publishing, all this different stuff, all because they trusted me, right? So one of my most successful students, uh, Naharika, Naharika Sodi, she reached out to me probably 18 months ago, and she was like, you know what? She even had experience prior to taking my program, but she said, you know what? I like your style. It's clear that you're very successful on Medium. I'm just going to follow your lead, suspend my judgment, not make assumptions, and I trust that your experience will guide me, right? So in that 18 months, she has grown like crazy on Medium to the point her name gets mentioned damn near more than mine. She's literally one of the top writers or quote unquote influencers on Medium not because of me, she did all the work. She just wanted someone to put the pieces together and give her a little bit of clarity and direction. So she was like, yeah, I trust you to lead me in the right, in the right, on the right path, and then after that, I'll take the ball from there. And that's exactly what she did. But people don't wanna listen. People don't wanna invest in themselves. People will spend $50,000 to get a degree, but then when it's time to shell out a couple hundred bucks to teach you a skill that could literally make you hundreds of thousands of dollars in the long term if you execute it properly, People just, you just wanna walk around, you wanna scan for free information, you wanna read blog posts about how to succeed on Medium from people who've been on Medium for like five minutes, right? There is that proliferation of people who get a tiny bit of success on Medium and then they teach you what they know. And I'm not even saying, I'm not knocking them, I'm just saying when it comes to what I do, I go straight to the source. I go to the top of the top people in their field. And I'm not bragging when I say I'm the top, one of the top of the top people when it comes to Medium. So you could just follow me. You could take some of my free courses. You could join my paid programs where I walk you through step-by-step step how to do everything, right? So number two, the mistake is they don't take advice from experienced people and they follow other beginners or people who don't have enough experience really to tell them what they need to know or get them where they need to go, which leads to my last point. Third biggest mistake Medium newbies make is they just don't have a system, right? So I've talked about the system when it comes to the actual posts themselves, when it comes to mind mapping your stuff, outlining, generating ideas. Those of you who followed me for a while, you know those are like my basic systems for how to write stuff that people wanna read. But there are systems beyond that too. There are systems for um, making sure your writing productivity is on point, when you write, where you write, the time interval you write, the strategy and routine that you have around your writing. I even talk about that in my programs. There's a system you can use to promote yourself on Medium, right? So a lot of people, they just post a couple blog posts on Medium and then they're like, oh, okay, let's see what happens. Instead, if you had a system of being able to publish consistently, a system for promoting yourself on Medium, a system for engaging with Medium so that you become part of the community, you know, commenting on a certain number of posts per week, replying, to every single comment that you have on your post, finding top writers and reading the top posts every week to see what's working, right? So I systematize that entire process. I don't go in, I don't go into anything blind. I develop systems from scratch to help you figure out what to write about, to figure out how to write it, to figure out where to publish it, to figure out when to publish it, to figure out how to promote yourself, to figure out how to build a writing habit. All these things are systems. I don't rely on motivation, I don't rely on inspiration, and I don't rely on random tricks. I have a system 
Now, that although it doesn't guarantee everything you write is gonna go viral, it guarantees that over time, you're going to be more successful on Medium. And I have, I have the proof in the pudding and results to show you. Several successful students, myself, very successful, all that jazz. So you need to have a system. And again, it doesn't have to be my system, but if you just go on Medium blindly, kind of write whatever you want, you don't know, really know where to put it, and then you kind of throw your hands up like Medium doesn't work, that's your fault. It's not Medium's, right? So recapping everything, the top three biggest mistakes that new writers make on Medium is they make a lot of assumptions about Medium before actually putting in the work or doing in the work, doing the work the right way. Number two, they follow other beginners for advice instead of going straight to the source, experienced creators on Medium. And number three, they don't have a system. They just kind of throw spaghetti at the wall and then they're mad at the wall, right? So don't do any of those things. Instead, do what I'm about to say next. In the description below, you're gonna find two links. You're gonna find a link to a free five-day Medium course that walks you through the nuts and bolts of what you need to know from choosing a topic to getting better on Medium, more money, more views, all that stuff. For those of you who are really ready to dive in, there's a link to my flagship program. It walks you through everything you need to know. I'm currently in the process of remaking a lot of the content, adding a bunch of new stuff. So it's only gonna get better. And as it gets better, the price is, on, is only gonna continue to go up. So I suggest if you're really serious about it, you just stop the video, go check out that link now and come with me on the other side. Like, let's go make some money together. Let's, let's, let's get off the bench. Let's go do this. I have students in there doing it regularly and I would love for you to be one of them. Check out all the other stuff in the description as well. I got links to videos, yada yada. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, smash that like button. If you have questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. Some videos should be popping up in front of your face right now. Feel free to watch those and I will see you on the next video.